You know him from TDE, Black Hippie, Ab Soul. What's up? What's up? Fuck Black Hippie. Can I curse? Yeah. Fuck Black want. Hippie, Ab Soul, the Black Lip <laughs> Pastor. And he just mother freaking killed it on stage. And something that I'm noticing, especially with this year, I think it's been the year of the festival. Everybody's been really going out of their way to make it out, whether it's Coachella or here at Soundset. And I'm interested, is the energy different um, doing a festival versus doing more traditional shows? At a stadium? Yeah, I mean, you know, because, you know, we're all we're all big bottles of energy. So whenever you have more people in the area, it's yeah. always, yeah, for sure. Word up. Absolutely. And something that we've been waiting for for a long time, and I know you've been very vocal about this album. These days, you dropped the title maybe at the um, beginning of this month, May. And I know you had some frustrations with your label. Are you guys in a better place right now? Uh, well, I mean, it wasn't a frustration with the label. It was just mm -hmm. frustration with the process in general. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? You know, it's never... You know, TDE is the game. You oh, know, yeah. I'm just, but uh, you know, it's a cut. This is the TD. TDE is not Abso. Right. TDE is not Kendrick Lamar. TDE is not Schoolboy Q. It's TDE, mm -hmm. and we all represent that. So we all got to play our part. Absolutely. So what should we look forward to with this? Because there's so much anticipation, which is very well deserved. But I wonder, is that daunting for you when you think about all of these eyes and ears that are on your project? Oh well, no. I mean, you know. You feel me? <laughs> and, and I mean, and the project is kind of, uh, simply put, these days, just kind of like a time capsule of these yeah. days. So I kind of just wanted to capture the, the vibe of, like, the last two years, mm -hmm. like, all in one album. Right. You know what I mean? Dope, dope, dope. Um, and also, someone else is going to be coming to the sound set stage is Nas, who we know is celebrating 20 hearty years <laughs> of Illmatic. And... You have a joint of Action Bronson called um, Stigmata, which I know is inspired by Nas. So why don't you, if that's cool, speak about the influence that Nas has had over you over the years? Yeah, absolutely. Like, you know, Nas is definitely, definitely one of my favorite artists of all time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, I, I'm, I, I probably make at least one great reference to Nas <laughs> in all of my projects. At right. least one great profound reference to Nas because you know he's just a great great artist great writer yeah. you know what I'm saying? have and you met I'm sorry go ahead that was from the Godson album that I took that that uh piece from Stigmata so you know yeah. what I'm saying Dope. have you had the opportunity to sit down with him and talk a little bit I haven't like sat down and talked with him and like when I met him too like it was perfect because he didn't like know who I was mm. so I got to like just meet him and take a picture with him it was super <laughs> like you feel me right. I didn't want him to have to give me the oh yeah this is the new you know what I mean I was yeah. just a fan this type but yeah shout out to Nas man uh, shout out to Nas. Yeah, maybe I can do that now maybe I can oh, go word. right this is maybe this party? is yeah maybe this is the venue